Late in the day on February 9, 2022, I arrived at Watson Mill Bridge State Park near Comer in northeast Georgia. The covered bridge and park were lovely, but the setting sun was behind the bridge. It was a good time for photos of the quiet mill pond and sunlit west side of the bridge, but the wrong time to photograph the east side and the dramatic shoals on the south fork of the Broad River. Sixteen months later I returned, hoping that dawn on June 4th, 2023 would provide better lighting to show off the shoals and the bridge built in 1885 by Washington King. At 229 feet, this is the longest covered bridge in Georgia, and the rising sun illuminated its east side. The vibrant late spring foliage and rich light made the setting magnificent. Still, I thought I could do better. So I returned again eight months later, at sunrise on February 4th, 2024. These photos were taken at the bridge and on the nearby South Fork Trail early that morning. My first trip to Watson Mill Bridge State Park was in February 1980, when I was a freshman at the University of Georgia. That trip included a handful of friends from Myers Hall. Coincidentally, three of us were from Miami, Florida, though we hadn't known each other there. To us Miamians, Watson Mill Bridge State Park was about as far as you can get from our hometown, a busy, modern city filled with excitement, noise, and the congestion and hurry of metropolitan living. In contrast, Watson Mill was tranquil and soothing and strikingly beautiful. The bridge and mill ruins, scenic river shoals and wooded hills were calming, reassuring reminders of what it's like when man works in harmony with his environment. This is what happens when man builds with wood, stone, brick, and wrought iron instead of concrete, plastic, and acres of sheet metal when we work with the land instead of monstrously grading or filling it. Like the Golden Gate Bridge, St. Louis Arch, and Statue of Liberty, Watson Mill Bridge suits its environment. These are instances in which mankind did well. That doesn't happen often, and there's little chance of being overcome by mankind's ingenuity and labors and good taste. During my college years, I return to the park now and then, sometimes with friends for picnics, sometimes alone to do field work for my forestry studies. Beauty and tranquility are pervasive here, so this became a favorite state park. Shortly after college, I brought a young woman here for one of our first dates, a picnic on a river rock. Now we've been married for 36 years. When I brought my one-year-old daughter, Laura Ann, here in 1993, I jokingly told my wife that this was George's Bridge of Madison County, playfully referring to the Clint Eastwood movie in which the two main characters have an affair. It was fitting since Watson Mill Bridge spans the line between Madison and Oglethorpe counties. While my daughter and I sat at a picnic table that day, a young mother approached and invited us to a birthday party up the hill. We joined the group, which turned out to be single moms and their children. They thought I was a single dad. For my February 4th, 2024 trip, I made it to the park just a few minutes before sunrise. I set up my tripod and camera on the rocks below the bridge, dam, and falls and began taking timed exposures. The sun rose in the cloudless midwinter sky, illuminated trees behind the bridge, then one end of the bridge, then its full face, and finally a loblolly pine to my left. I worked angles and perspectives, obtaining a few decent photos. Still, I think I might do better. There's one other thing I've pursued here for years, a remarkable photo circa 1910 of patrons on the porch of the old hotel that overlooked the river and bridge from a hillside. The photo is displayed on park brochures and signboards, but no one has been able to locate a good copy. Someday I'll find it, but I've been looking for 30 years and counting. After sunrise, I walk the South Fork Trail. This easy and short trail follows the mill race to the ruins of a, a turn of the 20th century electric generating plant. From there it winds on a hillside above the river through a forest of white oak, yellow poplar, black gum, American beech, and American holly. 
Such are things a long ago Miami boy finds enchanting, wood and forest, rock and ruin, shoal and sunrise. Watson Mill Bridge State Park has it all. Thank you for watching this Georgia Backroads program.